After games, former Bremerton, Washington High School football coach Joe Kennedy would kneel and pray only with players who voluntarily chose to participate. Well, when the district set new guidelines in response to this heresy, Kennedy ended his group prayers but still engaged in post-game prayers just by himself. Well, the district didn't like that either, so they put him on leave and they won't allow him to coach. The First Liberty Institute filed suit on his behalf some six years ago, and in January of this year, the Supreme Court finally decided to take up the case. Well, the court hasn't even issued its opinion, but that didn't stop the publication Sports Illustrated for alleging something far more nefarious about Coach Kennedy. He's a human embodiment of a country that's deeply divided, a religious movement that's surging with momentum, even as organized religion becomes increasingly unpopular. And most of all, a powerful right-wing machine, many say, is employing a timeless division tactic. Us versus them. This is bad writing. This logic twisting makes the argument zero-sum and assumes that Christian nationalists have lost their rights, all to maintain a culture war strategy that hinges on a gross oversimplification of stakes. Joining me now, former high school football coach Joe Kennedy, as well as his attorney Kelly Shackelford, CEO of First Liberty Institute. Uh, Joe, that's a mouthful. Um, not particularly, <laughs> not particularly good writing, but there you have it. That that prayer, even just praying by yourself, it's such a threat to them. Why? I have no idea. All those words, it's I don't even know what they mean. I don't even think they know what it means. You know, just like in uh, the Princess Bride, I don't think that means what they think it means. I was just being thankful, so I don't know what the big deal is about. Do you have any regrets? Um, do you wish you oh, kind of just kept it to yourself, not. or no? No, uh, you know, I served 20 years in the Marine Corps so I can exercise my rights just like I fought for for every American. And the thought that somebody of any kind of faith would have to hide who they are or, you know, have to, you know, just be ashamed of, of them being, you know, a, you know, anybody of faith, that's just wrong in my book. Kelly, what happened to Sports Illustrated, you know, being a publication where you can learn a lot about sports? I, I, I think they've... Uh, wandered out of their arena and they're in big trouble uh, saying that this would be a, a threat to democracy. Uh, as you and I know, uh, Laura, this isn't a democracy, it's a constitutional republic. And we actually value uh, free speech and the free exercise of religion, which is the rights at jeopardy here for Coach Kennedy. So it's bizarre. And I would tell people in case they wonder, you know, have any questions about Coach, uh, you know, we've got the facts. You can listen to the oral argument. We've got it taped. You can listen to the oral argument to Supreme Court. People can just go to firstliberty.org. Listen for yourself. I think they'll all back Coach Kennedy, as most of the country is, which is why the reaction well, to this was yeah. something I've never seen before. Joe, what's happened to you personally? I always think of the personal stories behind these kind of sensational attacks on traditionalism that we've been covering you know, since this show's inception, almost five years ago now. What's happened to you as a man, as a coach, as a, as a professional, has inspired so many young men over the years? Yeah, you know, it, it's so difficult to actually put it into words. You know, you have something that you love deeply. And, you know, coaching is something that, I mean, I never knew how much those young men would ever mean to me. And then it all of a sudden gets taken away from you. So life becomes just a big old mess. And not to mention that my wife actually worked for the school district. So you can imagine that uh, the HR department was uh, up to their eyeballs with uh, Coach Kennedy. I, I, it's just been a mess. And I'm just really looking forward to the, co uh, the courts actually just, you know, ruling on the facts of the case. Yeah, setting setting things straight. And Kelly, I mean, it seems to me that Joe has been damaged by this. I mean, without a doubt. Um, will he get any monetary satisfaction by the time this is all wrapped up? Well, Laura, he he didn't want to ask for any money. He didn't want anybody to ever complain or that. say that this was about money. So he didn't seek monetary damages. He just wants the right, and if he wins, which we hope he will in the next two weeks, you're going to see him back on that field, coaching those players again, and going to a knee for 20 seconds to thank God for the privilege of coaching them again. And I think that 
would be the greatest uh, victory that coach could ever hope for. And I think it'll set a great example for the country that this is a country that really believes in the First Amendment and we respect people's right to pray by themselves if they want to. All right, well, I'd like to be there if you get back on that field, Joe. I'd like to be there at that game, absolutely. Thank you both for being oh, here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.